greetings. Today we'll look at telephone accounts and the tariff used to calculate them. We all love chatting on the telephone, don't we? Unfortunately, everything we do comes with a price. So does our telephone. When we receive our accounts, we need to understand the terminology used in the statement. Let's look at the telephone account received and explain all the parts. The account holder's details are printed at the top of the invoice. An invoice is issued to inform the customer of the amounts due on an account. The balance brought forward from the previous invoice was 1,385 rand 46 cents. The next line on the account shows that the customer had paid an amount of 2,136 rand and 42 cents. Notice that the letters CR appear after the amount. This means that the telephone account has been credited or paid with that amount. On this account, the amounts having no code behind them are debits. This means that the customer is still in debt with the telephone company. The abbreviation for this are the letters DT. After the calculations have been done, the opening balance on the account is now 750 Rand and 96 cents CR. This CR means that the customer was now in credit on his account. In other words, he had paid in advance. This invoice has a cost of 1,035 Rand and 22 cents. It is important to be aware of the different sections the statement is divided into. The next section of the account is the invoice. The invoice is the detailed breakdown of an account that is payable and usually lists all the items separately. You will notice that the value added tax or VAT is added to these. We will discuss VAT in more detail in another video. The telephone company has also charged interest on the overdue amount and this is also added to the amount due. Let's calculate the final amount due on the account. The payment date is the 26th of July 2012. The total amount due is 1,035 Rand and 22 cents. The account holder has already paid 750 Rand and 96 cents, meaning that their payment due is 284 Rand 26 cents. The term minimum payment is sometimes found on an account or invoice. This means that in order to prevent your account falling into arrears or your service being disconnected, the company gives you the option of only paying the minimum amount. This is not always advisable as eventually you will be paying a lot of penalty interest. The costs of telephone calls are often difficult to work out due to the complex tariff structure used by the landline operator. Little, who lives in Bloemfontein, needs to make a call to his uncle in Johannesburg and speaks for five minutes. He will use a public card phone to make this call, and his uncle has a landline at his home. Calculate how much this call will cost him if he phones at 2 p.m. on a Wednesday. The table lists the costs VAT exclusive and VAT inclusive. When you see this, always use the rates that include VAT unless the question says otherwise. The pay phone unit charge per meter in unit is 0 0.5 Rand VAT inclusive. The score is being made on a Wednesday, which is a weekday. Lito is calling at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Therefore, this is standard time. The distance between Bloemfontein and Johannesburg is more than 50 kilometers, which means the call qualifies as a long distance call. Reading off the table, this is 46,7 seconds. This means that Little will pay 50 cents for every 46,7 seconds on the phone. 
We now need to calculate how much money Little will spend on the call. We first need to calculate the number of units he will be using and then multiply that by the cost of each unit. We start by converting minutes to seconds. There are 60 seconds in one minute. So 5 times 60 tells us that 5 minutes is equal to 300 seconds. Divide the number of seconds by the metering period in seconds to obtain the number of units of the core. 300 divided by 46,7 equals 6,4239 and continues on. Now we multiply the number of units by the cost of each unit to find the total cost of the core. 6,4239 multiplied by 0, 0,5 rand gives 3 rand and 21 cents, rounded to two decimal places. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember, the task for this section can be found in the Finance Task video. You will also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.